G'day everyone, Tabs here again with another acceleration test here today. It'll be the same conditions as the 1000 foot test from last time, but this time I'll do the test at three different altitudes with the same seven jets. You're currently watching the SU-27 flankers acceleration runs, just for an example of how much the time varies between altitudes. I'll show you a six jet side by side test in a few seconds, followed by graphs for all aircraft at 1, 10, 20 and 30,000 feet for a quick and easy comparison. And so you don't have to watch each aircraft go from 200 to 650 knots four times, because that would be pretty boring. Please leave a like if it gives you some good information. Here is the test at 10,000 feet. While it's going, I'll explain the parameters of the test and afterwards I'll go over the results of all other altitudes using graphs to help make sense of the data. All tests are from 200 to 650 knots, all flight controls are in auto and I'm doing my best to manually keep each aircraft flat and level at the specified test altitude. I'll fly the aircraft as slow as I possibly can, down to about 180 knots, then go into max afterburner in order for the engine to produce as close to full thrust as possible at 200 knots. Aircraft will all have 50% fuel, will fly the same bearing and have the same flight conditions. All pylons are removed, the measured airspeed is indicated airspeed, not ground speed. Well, there you have it again, folks. At 10,000 feet, the F-16 is by far and away the fastest jet. But what about 20 and 30,000? I'll bring that data up in a few seconds. But firstly, here are the results of the test you just saw. There's a fair bit of info on here, but the main takeaway is that the shorter the bar, the faster the aircraft. This is because the test is measured in seconds, so the faster the better. These are the results from my previous 1,000 foot test. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. F-16 takes the crown at 1,000 feet as well, but not by a lot. The MiG-29 and F-15 are close-ish second and third. The remaining four jets all come in around 30 seconds. Here is where things get a little crazy. The F-16 just widens the acceleration gap even more at 20,000 feet. The poor Su-27 has come in last place for every test so far. And spoiler alert, it comes in last again, with more of the same F-16 domination at 30,000 feet. However, the most interesting piece of data on this entire graph is the Mirage's 30,000 foot time. It goes from being second last in the 1,000, 10,000 and 20,000 foot test to almost matching the F-15 in third place at 30,000 feet. It must love being up high. I even retested at lower altitudes thinking something was up, but the data was consistent. If this video gave you some good information, give it a like. If you want to see more tests like this, subscribe. And if there's any more tests you think I can do, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. See yous.